Hi, I'm Mira Allen with your Manifesting Destiny Moon Update. So, um, this video, you know, I've been putting off for a couple of days where it's been a bit, oh, you know, I've got to do the moon video. <laughs> um, but I really feel that trepidation is coming from, it is a full moon in Scorpio that's coming up. And that's the 11th of May in the Southern Hemisphere. So that's this Thursday morning, I think it's at 7.42 a.m. This Thursday morning of the 11th in the Southern Hemisphere and Wednesday night of the 10th in the Northern Hemisphere. Now Scorpio, deep, deep, beautiful water sign Scorpio. Often they get a bad rap as well, um, good old Scorpios. So this is, this is affecting, especially people that do have moon in Scorpio, you're feeling this quite intensely. Now, already a full moon, we all know it has that intensity, but a full moon in the deepest water sign, our deepest emotional self, our deepest areas of your life where there are patterns, there are behaviors, um, there is a time for deep transformation. And it's interesting, um, I never really do this for YouTube as such, I do this for my clients, but I've recently got this amazing deck that my beautiful friend Jasmine has lent to me and I was asking the cards this morning you know give me a bit of assistance here because I feel such an intensity already around doing this video and I felt so much internal stuff was being held back even expectations that were was coming to the fore about how we need to like look and be and dress during my video and and then it started pouring down rain and you know, so again, more water, deep Scorpio. And this was the card that I picked up. I picked um, three cards, but four fell out. This is the card that came out of the deck. And that's, you know, that's the moon card came <laughs> appropriately as this is a moon reading. And I thought, oh, okay, well, that's a confirmation. Trust your intuition, Mira. You're meant to be doing your moon video today. You pulled out the moon card from the deck. But also it really emphasized, you know, the black and the white, the darkness of this card, the darkness of our scorpionic selves. I decided to put on black, you know, the underneath this purple, you know, like the darkness that's covering our thoughts, our minds, um, our desires, what's blocking us, you know, our patterns of behavior. That's been something that's been coming up a lot, patterns. The second card that came recently, the tower card, you know, um, when the tower card comes in the tarot, it's very much everything's being tumbled down inside, outside, around us. We have an opportunity for rebirth. You know, I look at the tower card sometimes and I've had many experiences in my personal life where the tower card has been thrust upon me in terms of what's happened in my life. And we've all had that experience where we get smashed right down and there are fire burning within and without. And we start back again from ground zero. You know, those 911 moments, emergency, emergency, September 11, um, recently taught numerology course. And that 911 came up a few times. So when we think about that emergency time in our lives, we go into those deep, dark spaces and it feels <gasps> like it's all being illuminated and come up to the fore and that's what happens when it's a full moon in Scorpio you're showing full illumination full light in the deepest darkest waters in the deepest most secretive parts of ourselves and they're all coming up to the surface the next card that came up which kind of was by accident it was the hangman I don't know if you guys can see that you know, not the most um, uplifting card, the hangman. But you think about, you know, look at the colouring already of these cards. You know, it's just so deep, dark, black and white, you know, breaking down, crushing everything that we believed, our patterns, our conditioning. We're tearing down those walls finally that we've been meaning to do. And without having to feel guilty or sorry for it all, Instead, standing in our truth, and instead of being choked in our expression and, and having that blocked off and dying from that, 
how about relieving our inner realness of ourselves? It can be beautiful, awkward, uncomfortable, but it's still deeply beautiful. It is intense. It is really transformative. It can be a really inner personal choice or decision. Then the final card, the death card, I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit blurry. So the death card, you know, um, he comes to collect, to shift us. You know, death has also got to do with birth. You can't have one without the other. Death is also to do with massive, massive changes. We can really use this full moon in Scorpio for massive, massive changes. Also be aware about your teeth. You know, our teeth hold deep rooted patternings. Which tooth needs to be checked, cleansed, changed, I know, crowned, or what, what's happening for your teeth? Um, what's happening for your rooted beliefs about your inner self? Where do you feel a bit ripped open? What are your expectations of yourself and what are your expectations of others? Where can you be forgiving or where can you be more firm with your boundaries? Uh, many years ago, I wrote a song and look at this, I brought out the blue book. It's been a while since the blue book has um, revealed itself. And one of the songs that I wrote, you know, I, I thought of these lyrics um, quite a lot and the song is called Freedom. Um, and I always imagine these lyrics being wrapped, you know, um, what are all these expectations? What are all these crazy things? All these things that get a hold of me. You think of the scorpion tail. Ow, that's hooked me. Who am I hooked into? All those things that get a hold of me. All those things that keep pulling me. You know, think of the, um, the hangman with his noose hanging. Where are you being hung? You know? And then the chorus is very powerful in terms of now I am able cause now I say no now I am able to listen to my soul listen to my soul so this song you know is um and then there's another a verse, you know, feeling it in you, feeling it in me. What are all these crazy things, these things that get a hold of me? All those silly things that keep pushing me. You know, and then it goes to another chorus and then it has letting go of all these little things, letting go of all these expectations, free now of all obligations, free now of everything, free now of wanting anything. So what are all these expectations? What are all these crazy things? What are all these things that are getting a hold of you? What are all those things that keep pulling and pushing you. Scorpio full moon, 11th of May. You know, where can you, where can you die? Where can that old part of you be collected? Where can you open up where you've been choked to where you are going to express? Where can we use that tower and burn down all the preconceptions of oneself past, present, future, and being the complete nothingness, the void, the black, the inner meditative space where sometimes there is no light or color. Sometimes there is only darkness, but being okay with that. Where we're neither zero or one. We're twixt between the binary code. Use this Scorpio. Use this Scorpio full moon. 11th of May in the Southern Hemisphere. 10th of May in the evening of the Wednesday evening in the Northern Hemisphere. Check in with your expectations. Check in with what's pulling you, what's pushing you. Check in with your teeth. Check in where you want to transform. What does you want to let go of? Check in with the patternings of your past. Where are you ready to be illuminated? Where are you ready to reveal yourself? Where are you really ready to let go of the past? Whose conditions are you living under? Are they your own? I'm Mira Allen. I hope you're enjoying these moon updates. 
and a um, little bit of an intense, crazy one today, a bit of song, a bit of cards. Thank you all for watching and subscribing. If you don't know your moon sign, if you don't know your rising sign, if you don't know your sun sign or your moon or Venus or, you know, I've got Venus and Mars and Scorpio and taught me a lot about the way I love, the intensity of the way I hate. <laughs> um, so, yeah, send me an email if you're interested and we'll have a Skype session and I'll also email you a PDF of your chart and we'll go through it quite thoroughly. Um, subscribe, enjoy, have a beautiful full moon in the deepest water sign, 11th of May or 10th of May for your Northern Hemisphere. Namaste.